Welcome to a new Infinity video tutorial. Infinity is a miniature war game that simulates skirmishes in a high-tech sci-fi setting influenced by manga aesthetics, an exciting, action-packed vision of the near future where special operations determine the fate of humanity. In this video, we'll explore how dice rolls are used to determine the success or failure of an action. We'll be using the upcoming Operation Red Veil Battle Pack, the best option if you're looking to dip your toes into Infinity. 1. Normal Rolls In Infinity, troops have a troop profile with information about their attributes. The numerical value of an attribute tells you how good that troop is at performing actions of that type. The higher the value, the better. For example, most of your time in this game will be spent shooting at enemies. To shoot your weapons, you use the ballistic skill, BS, attribute. When you're undertaking an action, you roll a 20-sided die and compare the result against your attribute. If you rolled your attribute value or below, the action is successful. Firearms have a trait called burst. A single order spent shooting them lets you roll as many dice as their burst value. Since each die is a potential hit, higher burst weapons greatly increase your odds of survival. Here's a Zhan Shi, a proud Yu Jing soldier. The Zhan Shi has Ballistic Skill 11 and a rifle with a Burst 3. To hit his target, he rolls three dice. Each result of 11 or lower hits true. This time, the results are 5, 9, and 17. Every result below 11 is a hit, but the 17 is above the Zhan Shi's BS and misses. Rolls like these, where your only goal is to roll as low as possible so you don't go above your attribute, are called normal rolls. 2. Face-to-face -face rolls One-sided firefights are a rare occurrence in Infinity. To help us understand how troopers fire at each other simultaneously, here's a Ghulam, a member of the Hak Islam army and the Janshi's opponent. It's the Janshi's active turn, and he has line of fire against Hakim, so he consumes one regular order, one of these green tokens, and declares he will unload his full burst, that's three shots, on his foe. The Ghulam has line of fire as well, and is entitled to an ARO, an automatic reaction order, against the Zhan Shi. The Ghulam declares that he will shoot back. Since he's reacting, he can only get one shot in. He rolls only one die. Since both are shooting at each other, a face-to-face -face roll ensues. These rolls function like normal rolls, but you compare the successful rolls of each participant. To succeed in a face-to-face -face roll, your die result must be equal or lower than your attribute, in this case, BS, but also higher than your opponent's successful results. Let's see how this contest goes for the Zhanshi and the Gulam. The Zhanshi rolls 3, 9, and 16, two successes and one fail. The Gulam rolls a 5, one success higher than the Zhanshi's 3. However, this time the Zhan Shi wins with his 9, since it's higher than the Ghulam's 5. 3. Armor Rolls The Ghulam has been hit, but he can still shrug it off with a successful armor roll. He uses his armor attribute, Arm, on his troop profile. He has to roll one die and add his arm value to the result. If the final result is higher than the damage value of the weapon that hit him, he's saved. We check combi rifle stats and see that it has damage 13. The Ghulam's roll, modified by his armor, must be above 13. He gets a 15, plus 1 from his armor. The final result is 16, well above 13, so the brave Ghulam is still standing. Next time, we will explore the different modifiers that can influence rolls and how they dictate the way you command your troops. That's all from Corvus Belly. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to visit infinitythegame.com to learn more about this game and its top-notch range of miniatures. Keep connected!